All right, y'all, welcome back. How's everybody doing today? Um, today we are going to try making a dragon's egg. So it's been 24 hours and uh, we had a little bit of an accident. We had some, some scales fall off. All right, y'all. So as you know, the original attempt at the dragon's egg was a complete bust. Um, we learned a lesson. Air dry clay and plastic don't go together. It will not fuse. It didn't shrink and crack. It just kind of all like pop, 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 fell off one by one. So what we're doing is this was actually a an idea by my genius little sister, Dana. We are making an aluminum foil egg that we are then going to be able to put oven hardening clay on. I'm gonna do the same thing, rolling it out uh, and putting them on from the bottom up, oven hardening clay, uh, like a Sculpey that we can put in the oven and uh, bake. Cause I so there we go, we have the perfect egg shape made out of aluminum foil so it's nice and light. Don't get frustrated, this is the life of an artist. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You're gonna make awesome things, you're gonna wake up in the morning and they're gonna be completely destroyed. Uh, you just get back to it. It's fun. All right, let's get this going.
right, y'all. So there you have it. Uh, it was much more tedious than the first egg, but well worth it. Look at that detail. And uh, we ended up putting, I'm not tipping it forward without holding it. I found a jewel that I had. Let me put that at the very top. It's going to look cool. So now we are going to bake it. Um, package instructions call for us to bake it at 250 degrees. It says 275. I always do it 250. I even do it to a little less uh, for 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. So we are definitely going to do 15 minutes, but I think I'm going to do it at 250. I always bake it a little less. You can always bake it a little longer. You can also burn the stuff, so be careful. Um, and we only used a pound. So we have, well, a pound and a quarter. So <sighs> it was worth it, though. What do we think? Dragon baby. It's gonna look really awesome when it's painted. It's still hot. It's still it's fuming. But it's a dragon egg. Wouldn't you expect it to be hot? Look at that chill on the top. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so that went in a 250 degree oven for 15 minutes. Um, yeah, it's hardening up perfectly. Tomorrow we are going to give her a paint job. <sighs> Looks really awesome. Honestly, I'm glad we screwed up the first one. I'm glad the first one screwed up because I actually love this one better. So. All right, we have now put on a layer of paint. I went with a brighter green because what I'm going to do is take some black, water it down, and then do like a wash on it so it gives it like a more of a dirtier antique look. And then I'm going to go in with a gold on a dry brush, like a dry wispy brush. Let me see if I can find a good brush for you. Like a crappy. You want a brush that's got horrible coverage, like this. You see how, see how ugly that brush is? That's a horrible brush. But it's perfect for putting on dry. And you're gonna just take it like, like that, and it's gonna give it a really cool coppered effect. So it's gonna look patina. It should, I hope. Uh, so far, everything else has worked out great. Look at that jewel on the top. Isn't that cool? I'm really glad that the other one screwed up. I'm serious. So now that I've got a good coat on it, I'm just gonna flip it upside down so you can see where all the spots that you didn't get green paint. Um, and I'm just gonna go in with a fine brush and just cover those all in. All right, so we have it all painted. All spots are covered up. And I think instead of doing a black wash, we're gonna do a brown wash. I'm gonna try, if it doesn't work and we don't like it, then we can just, um, and try it again. Oh, that's gonna give it a ceramic type look. What do we think of that? We're not putting it on super wet. We're kind of just going over it. We're not gonna let anything cool too much. We just want to give it like a bit of a stained look. dried a little bit lighter than I would have liked it to, which is fine. That's why you put on less. You can always add more. So we should see a big difference with the second coach. I'm going to put it on pretty thick this time. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really pretty. Put a little more up by the diamond. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the jewel. We're gonna polish that off anyway. We'll use some rubbing alcohol with a Q-tip. It really picks up all the detail with the egg, with the brown. All right, y'all. So the brown uh, wash is drying perfectly the way I wanted it to. I wanted it to kind of have like a rust over copper color. Um, so that's perfect. Now we're gonna take our gold. I'm just using a Craft Smart. I don't want anything too thick. I'm gonna put that away from me. Uh, loading it up on a brush and taking off as much of the excess as you can. And then just going onto the tips of the scales with it. Kind of brushing off some of it. Putting on a little bit. Putting a little more on some. A little less on other. 
remember um, Return to Oz. TikTok. TikTok. From Return to Oz. He had a very steampunk look to him. And there you have it. Isn't she a beauty? She turned out exactly how I was hoping she would. So you can get the full effect. Oh, that jewel's pretty. And there you have it. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for my second YouTube video. It's so hard to see where the camera is on this thing. Um, yeah, uh, it was really fun. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you learned how to do this. If you guys do this, please, by all means, tag me. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Um, yeah, it was really fun. You guys have fun and go out and make something today, okay? I love you guys.